So Dishonored 2, I guess my quick wrap up would be loved the art of the game, totally awesome. I liked the sneaky, stealthy bits. Uh, very hard, definitely had very hard moments and then very weird, not hard moments. Um, the abilities are really cool and when you get the time changing uh, thing, it's awesome. Like that, that like changed the game drastically, but I think it needed that because there were, that was at the point where like the gameplay was kind of getting, a, not stale, but like, there wasn't a lot of dynamic to it. And I think like that added like a really good dynamic to it. Um, I would say the story could have a little bit more bits here and there, but I do think that generally it ha I, I liked where it was going and I liked the concept of the characters and the like, little tidbits of decisions that you got to make here and there. I think that there's just some kind of layer on that story that just didn't make sense. I would definitely recommend it again. L worth it as far as like the amount of money you're paying and how many hours of gameplay you're getting out of it. Especially if you try both ways and you try to like go full stealth mode and then you try another uh, uh, version where you play through and kill everything or if you wanted to also um, try a no ability use version or like a rune crafting version. There's like a lot of different alternative ways that you could play through it if you cared to play through it multiple times. So I think you could get a lot of hours of enjoyment out of it depending on the type of player that you are. And if you go full 100% where you try to collect everything and do all the things, definitely gonna get enough hours out of it. So, would recommend. Oh yes, <laughs> he's so chill. He